Welcome to Punch TV, I'm Bruce Townhill. Today is a review of the latest product arriving from Punch Equipment. This is the um, Cobra Boxing Boot. Now you'll see this boot is a um, pretty attractive looking little offering from Punch Equipment. Now I'll go through some of the features that make this quite unique. First of all, you've got a uh, cowhide leather toe covering rather than a synthetic toe covering. Then you've got suede leather toe piece here. But the really interesting improvement on this boot is it's a fully injected one piece urethane mould. Now, traditionally in the sort of more sort of budget boots, you'll have a two piece sole here that's actually um, glue, joined by glue. This tends to have a weakness that when you, when you slide backwards with your footwork, it can peel away. So that's why we've gone to this full one piece integrated sole which is pretty indicative and common in more boots around a couple of hundred dollars. Uh, at least starting at about 130, 150 and then going up. That's Australian. Um, so what we've got here is uh, a flat lace, no eyelets. When we tested this rigorously over the last year, we found the eyelets were failing um, just due to the massive sort of forces and moving backwards and forwards and sideways. So we've removed all the eyelets as a failure point, flat lace, the full mesh microfiber side panels for breathability, large tongue um, that gives you a nice sort of secure, you do these laces up and you've got a lot of padding behind the lace. Now another thing that's quite important about this boot is the cut. Uh, we had a lot of feedback from people that all the boxing boots on the market were cut far too narrow. So this has got quite a generous uh, instep width here. I've got a particularly wide foot and I find these incredibly comfortable. Um, with the elasticity and the microfiber, if you've got a narrower foot, it's not a problem. But if you've got a heavier foot or if you're a heavier build um, or just simply a wider foot, you'll find that you can uh, wear these really well and you don't get pressure on the side and lack of circulation. So we're carrying this in the uh, size, US size is 9, uh, 10, 11 and 12. And uh, they're the most common sizes, about 90% of the market will buy that. Currently we're not catering for, uh, for smaller sizes, we've just found uh, statistically that just no one seems to want those sizes in a quantity. We have to make these in large quantities to get this urethane mould sole. So um, most common sizes for common boxes. Why would you buy a pair of boxing boots instead of wearing a pair of runners? There's a pretty good reason. This sole is designed to give you sort of some traction but not inhibit sliding. So while you don't slip over, it's very easy to shuffle and slip and, and, and pivot now, in a boxing ring. Now the idea of that is that uh, if you wear a runner, a runner really has got quite aggressive track and tread and it anchors your foot and can actually cause knee and ankle damage if you're in a boxing ring and you're suddenly stepping back or ducking and weaving and you're trying to pivot. So it's actually, you're better off wearing bare feet than wearing runners in a ring, unless the runners are completely clapped out and worn down like this, you'd probably get away with it then. So the idea of boxing boots is like a ballet slipper. It's light, it's comfortable, but it gives you traction but doesn't inhibit slip and slide stepping footwork or pivoting. So that's the, uh, the new microfiber Cobra boxing boot from Punch Equipment. I'd highly recommend it. Check it out on our website. Uh, I think you'll be pretty hard pressed to find any boot of this caliber at this price point. That's the Cobra boot from Punch Equipment.